We are starting off our thrift trip with the purse section. I look for name brand purses when I'm thrifting for my Depop. Coach, Liz Claiborne, any brands like that. They sell really fast. And I also just look for any kind of unique rare bags that I think could sell. Next, we're going through the shoes. I keep an eye out for brands like New Balance, Reebok, Adidas, Nike. All of those typically sell really fast on my Depop. It's also important to buy shoes that are in season, shoes that people are actually looking for at the moment. I really love these red kitten heels. I thought they were super cute, but they were a size 10. I steer away from sizes like that because they take longer to sell. I usually look for sizes six through eight. Also guys, make sure to always check the go back rack by the dressing rooms. I always find so many cute things over here and it's just convenient because it's already been picked through. So since it is fall, I'm looking for a lot of sweaters, a lot of cardigans, sweater vests, coats, jackets, anything of that nature. I also factor in what is trending at the moment. I know for fall 2023, we're looking for a lot of red, off-the-shoulder tops, lace, coquette vibes, just anything that's trendy and searchable. Some of my favorite brands I like to thrift for my Depop include Guess, Liz Claiborne, Is Buyer, Nike, Adidas, etc. These brands are highly searchable and typically do well on my Depop. I also like to thrift any Y2K like vintage brands. You can tell by a tag if it's vintage and what era it's from. Next, I'm just looking through the jackets and the blazers. Again, winter is coming up, so these will be highly searchable. I like to look for leather, leather jackets, leather blazers. Those sell really well. Also, I'm looking for any trench coats, bomber jackets, fur coats, vintage coats. All of these are in high demand on Depop. I always make sure to inspect each item as well just to make sure there are no holes, no stains, or any flaws on it because I don't want to resell anything that is not in good condition. Prices are another big factor when it comes to thrifting for my Depop because obviously I do want to profit. So I usually tend to buy items that are on sale. Salvation Army always has different tags that are on sale each week. So I will try to search for those items. By this time, I have found a lot. So it's time to go through my cart, pick through all the items, make sure everything is in good condition and just put back what I actually don't want to buy. So I actually went thrifting a couple days ago. I have everything right here for my Depop that I thrifted. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got, what I paid for it, and then we're gonna go through and price everything, take pictures of everything, upload them on Depop. We're also gonna ship out some packages. If you guys aren't following me already on Depop, it is at Iconic Thrifts with three Zs, or you can search me up, Haley, H-A-L-E-Y-R-O-W-A-D-E. -E. Okay. So first up, I got some bags. My purses tend to sell really quickly and I always find so many cute purses at the thrift store. This one is this big zebra tote bag. It was originally priced at $4.99, but I actually got it for 99 cents because the white tags were 99 cents. Big tote bags like this are always in. I love the red detailing. Red is super in right now, especially with fall coming up. So I picked this up for a dollar. Next bag is this little coquette crochet bag it is so freaking cute i thought about keeping this but i can't keep everything i thrift for my depot because then i wouldn't have any any inventory but look how cute this bag is guys it is so adorable it was four dollars for this cutie little bag moving on i got two little slip skirts this one is super, super cute. It has two slits up the side with lace trim around and then it has like a little flower detailing on it. It's so adorable. It was originally $3, but the yellow and the pink tags were half off. This was $1.50. It is just so, so cute. This one is just an all black one. I paid $4 for this one. It's kind of pricier, but 
It's just this black slip skirt and then it has lace trim up it. Also has a little slip, super cute. I'm obsessed with slip skirts right now. Next up is this Harley Davidson vintage sweater. Pretty obsessed with this. I've never seen a Harley Davidson sweater before. This was half off of five, so it was 250. Here's the tag. Like, so cute. I would like this sweater even if it wasn't Harley Davidson. The fact that it is Harley Davidson is just a bonus. Love the stripes, super cute. Definitely tell it's like a vintage boutique Y2K brand, but it's just this cute little sweater with a cross on it, and then the sleeves are like a different kind of sweater material. I don't know if you, yeah, there you go. But I just really, really like this. The sleeves are so cute, and I love the cross, giving chrome heart vibes. Love it. Next up, I would be keeping this if it was my size, but it's too big. It's from the brand Jamili. Never heard of it. Just this little coquette lace button up. Like a size large, I want to say, but it is just so, so cute and perfect for fall. I paid $5 for this. A little more pricier, but it's just so cute. And I think I'm going to sell this for maybe like $25, so still profiting on it. I just love little graphic tees. This one I was obsessed with. It says Starry Night on it and then Vincent Van Gogh. Super cute. It's just a little plain graphic. I paid literally 50 cents for this. I also got this Hard Rock Cafe one. I paid a dollar for this. I just thought it was cute. But yeah, I love it. Next up is this little chaps striped collared shirt. I just thought this would be really cute for fall. I love the preppy vibes in the stripes. I'm so into stripes right now. So I paid $1.50 for it. It is in a kid's size, so it probably fit like an extra small. I just thought this was a cute fall basic. Next up, I'm really obsessed with this. I'm still thinking about keeping it just because I don't have anything like it and it's so cute. It is this vintage little sweater with a built-in collar and sleeves it's so cute it's giving like legally blonde mean girls vibes early 2000s so adorable look how freaking cute guys it's from the brand mix it i got this for a dollar fifty like what the flippy flip this is perfect. I'm still thinking about keeping this. Next up is this vintage Isbire little blouse. I love Isbire. It's such an iconic Y2K brand. This shirt is really cute. I tried this on and I really, really like it. I love the ruffles in the sheer. So pretty. And then it also has this little lace detailing up at the collar. Super adorbs. With some jeans, going to dinner, some boots. So cute. This was also $5.00 actually Victoria's Secret. I got it for $1.50. Cheetah with white lace trim. Super cute. It's in great condition so they're like brand new. And it's Victoria's Secret. Next up is another little coquette tank. This one's really really cute. It's vintage. Beautiful like sheer trim. It's so cute. If this fit me I would definitely be keeping it. I got it for $1.00. Next up, I got these Adidas track pants. Adidas sells so fast on Depop, guys. Anytime I see anything Adidas, I'm buying it because it sells so fast. These especially sell really fast. I've sold already like two pairs of these exact pants for like $40 on my Depop. These were originally $8, but I paid $4 for them because they were half off. And I'll probably sell them for like 40 bucks. There's no flaws on these. They literally feel brand new. They're so nice, they're in a kid's large, so it fits like an extra small. Last thing I got for my Depop are these Levi's. They are these gray Levi vintage carpenter pants. They are so, so cute. They're everything. Look at the tag, guys. Like, how cute. I definitely will sell these for like 40 bucks too on Depop. Paid five dollars for these and i got these from the kids section that is everything that i thrifted for my depop now i'm going to show you guys how i kind of go through and price everything and then we're going to take some pictures and we're also going to go and ship out some packages i'll show you guys how i like print my shipping label everything that i do 
and yeah so I do this before I take my pictures I'm just gonna go through all my inventory write down what I paid for it and then I'm gonna write down what I'm gonna charge for it I just do this so I have everything written down and I can see exactly how much I'm profiting off of each item and it kind of just helps me stay organized this is my little planner I use this to like plan all my YouTube videos and my Depop drops in the back I have a little note section this is where I write all the prices down so first we have the little coquette sweater I'm just gonna write down lace cardigan and then how much I paid for it which was five dollars and I'm going to sell it for 25 and then I also write the size down because when I'm posting my pictures I will just have this right next to me so I know exactly the sizing of everything the pricing of everything Pictures are the biggest thing for Depop. You want to make sure that your pictures look really good. They're clear, they have good lighting because that's really the only thing you have to promote yourself. What I do is I take my mirror. I usually have my mirror right there. I just move it right in front of my window so the lighting is really good. And then I will try everything on and just model it and take the pictures. And I also like to take just a picture of the item on my floor I love the wood background I just lay out the clothes on the floor take the picture and then also model it I'll show you guys how the pictures turn out after I take them packages that I need to ship out. I'm going to show you guys how I package them up and you guys are going to come to the USPS store and I'll show you guys how I print off my labels for each package. First, I just have these pink little poly mailers. I got these on Amazon. I'll put the link in my description. Um, I have these ones. I also have these like huge poly mailers for bigger items like purses, stuff like that. Basically, what I do is just fold up the clothes and then I also have little business cards that I ship out with each package. This is what my business card looks like if it will focus. Really cute. I actually made these on Canva and then I printed them at Office Depot. They're ready in like a day. So it's super convenient. Here's this jacket that I sold. This little Adidas tracksuit jacket right inside the poly mailer. And I put my business card right on top. When I seal it, I just make sure that all of the air is out of the package so it doesn't mess with the weight when I have to ship it. And there we have it. One package done. I have all my packages all packed up. We're going to the USPS store and we're gonna ship all these packages out. 